Hey everybody, this is Gary B. Jr. This is the best place to learn how to use Free Show. And I want to talk to you about how I would use Free Show if I were going to be using it with Zoom, which I do plan to do uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. And this is how I would do it if it was just me as a one man band or if I were at a church service and my church uh, used Zoom to live stream. Uh, to share with those who are part of the fellowship, uh, and I want to share scriptures and lyrics and things like that. So let's dive into it. You got my screen here, and I've got um, the beginning of a show, and in this show is got an opening slide, and I, I would add a timer to that, and then I would have uh, some questions here with this general template, but it's going to be on Zoom. And so what I would say you should do is you want to make sure to make it be available in lower thirds and showing yourself in the background. All right. And so first step is you want to go to your media and turn on your camera. Uh, so I'm going to turn on the FaceTime camera for me and you'll see it come up there. And I don't want my the words over my face like this. That's not how you want to be on Zoom. So you want to actually use a template that allows you to fix that. And I've actually created some on my website that you can go and download. And I'm going to use, let's say, one for songs. It's just a basic lyrics, lower thirds template. And so it shows up and it brings that down to there. And I'm going to go ahead and put my media back on, put my camera back on. And what you can do for that, you can actually turn it on and off. I would just drag it up. And what it does is it puts it on all the slides after it, all right? And so now we've got something that looks like this. And we've got lower thirds with the person's, your face, and you'll be looking directly at your camera talking, but you'll have free show going on below to navigate to your next slide, right? So I can arrow to the right and go to my next slide, arrow again and go to my next slide, all right? So that's step number one. Turn on your media, put in your uh, lower thirds template, and you can go into GaryBJr.com and download that today. It is available on the products page, completely free as a free resource. Uh, hopefully, it's some value that will add to your media ministry toolkit. All right. So we got that. Now we got to add some scripture. So I'm going to go to the scripture and I'm going to change my scripture. Let's see here. I'm going to pull this up so you can see what I've got. I've got a, a lower third LT scripture box and it has not just the verse but it also has a reference uh, portion as well this is available in that download so it's got the lyrics and the scripture templates involved you can change the colors and all that stuff but I'm going to drag in these verses here uh, that I've got selected from Matthew all right so now I've got this here okay this is just this is going to be an example of what people are going to see on Zoom once we get this finalized. But the first step is this, uh, and I'm arrowing to the right, and then we go into a scripture. It shows you the scripture. I've got it selected to show the verse number, and then I've got the reference of the New Living Translation, Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11, all right? And so I can just arrow through those uh, as I'm talking on Zoom, just using my arrow key and having a conversation. Somebody else can read if they want to, or I can read as I reference it and teach if you're going to be teaching. Um, and then if I don't want it to flash back and forth like that to in between, you can do some things to fix that for um, your transitions. And so that's something that I've learned. Let's see here. If I go here, if we do... Select all. If I right click and we go to transition, let me see what it looks like. So we got none selected here and media. We got none selected. If I go back here, let's see what happens if I say in between. There's none selected there, which is good. So that must mean that there's something going on on my template. All right. So if I go to my let's go. Let me look on my zoom template. I made a zoom template here. Let's see what it looks like. And see how that one doesn't have any transitions going on. It just cuts to the next words. I like that better than if I were to use this primary one and cut and it kind of flashes back and forth. Um, kind of is just too flashy. I don't like that. Um, so the way I fixed that was I went to my settings and I went to my outputs and I've got a primary output here. And let's see here for style. Actually, I went to so this is the default style. So I actually went to my styles 
and I went to the default and then you can go to this change transition area and just click on that and it says it's going to fade in between your transitions uh, and it's going to fade in and out it's going to fade in between and what I've done is I just go in and I make all that well I make the in between just be none right for media uh, let's see here they just have it in and out so that's fine so let's see what that looks like I've turned off the in between or the between transition let's see what that looks like if it gives me what I want so if I go there and I go now when I switch between slides it just cuts to the next verse which is what I what I prefer uh, and because my reference is going to stay the same and then the scriptures are going to change with and I can go back and forth and they don't uh, flash and cause this flicker effect okay so that's step or the next step I don't know what step we're on so I'm going to close this now we've got our scriptures. Let me go back to my show. We've got our scriptures. We've got our opening points. And we've got our lower thirds set up. Um, and I did the lower thirds by going over here when I selected my scriptures. I had it set as the template for a lower third scripture with a box. Uh, and I just dragged that in. Uh, and that's a template. You can, you can go to my website and get it on your own if you want to. It'll look just like this. And then you want to go into Zoom. All right. So now... I've got Zoom open. Let's do this. So I've got Zoom open here. You can see at the bottom, this is Zoom. And what I would say you do, and let me do this real quick. I'm going to uh, come out of this and make this smaller. I'm going to pull this down because what I want to do is I want to actually show free show. So I'm going to pull up free show. And we're going to... Play it. I'm going to export this. So I'm going to turn off this one. Okay. And we're going to play this one. All right. So I've got my Zoom template going there. I'm going to open Zoom up. All right. So you got, you can see Zoom here on my page. There, I'm going to select share down here. All right. And then I'm going to go to the option. I got desktop one, desktop two. So I've got two monitors. This is a part of the requirements for this process. You got to have two separate monitors. And I'm just going to say share desktop two. And I've made it maximized on desktop two. This is my free show output up here uh, on desktop two. And then I select optimize for video sharing. That makes it to where my, my lips are going to be in sync and the motion and all that stuff is going to be just fine. And then I click share. All right. Now, when people watch me on Zoom, they're going to be seeing what you see on your screen to the right. And I can talk and I can go into free show. Right. So I got free show open on the left side. You can see there and I can just continue to talk and I can change my scriptures uh, and move on through it. No matter what. Right. And so I've got this one showing the actual primary screen. Let me turn it back on. And let's see here now. So you can see that there. I've got the screens going and it's running. Each slide, I can talk about it. Somebody else can read it. This a part of the Zoom meeting. Uh, and then when I'm done, I can just go down to Zoom and hit stop sharing. And it stops sharing. Uh, and so when you do that uh, to, to show your face, you're showing FaceTime on free show. And you're also showing your FaceTime camera on Zoom. All right. And then your audio settings, you want to just use your, your computer speakers, computer monitors, uh, or microphone, I should say. And you'll be good to go and everything will be in sync and you'll be able to have lower thirds on Zoom while um, you're talking. Right. And you're just sharing your screen. But it's really your face showing what's your free show screen. All right. And like I said, the lower thirds piece is something that you would have to make a special template for that to work that way. Otherwise, it'll be words showing up over your face. Um, for me, I prefer for it to be lower thirds. It just gives a more professional feel. And it's easier for the viewers and the listeners to really engage with what you have going on. All right. So um, what I would say to that is consider using free show with Zoom today. All right. And using those templates or making your own template with the lower thirds. You might want one that doesn't have the boxes behind it. Right. That's totally up to you. But use Zoom with free show, and it's pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, I look forward to uh, creating more content to help you guys understand how to use free show and other platforms and programs uh, that are going to be beneficial for your media team and your media ministry. Uh, in the meantime, check out GaryBJr.com for more resources. Uh, there's a beginner's guide to free show if you want to uh, jumpstart and jump into free show. It's got over two and a half hours worth of content to teach you how to use this program uh, at a very beginner level so that you can be comfortable 
to use it and get up to speed like you were on the previous program you were using, or if this is your first time uh, using a presentation software, you don't want this to be uh, a hindrance. Uh, as a media member for many years in many churches, uh, one of the things that I always train uh, those churches that I work with is to understand that as a media volunteer and or paid volunteer, a media person, this being paid, um, you want to make sure that your 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 um, existence in the ministry, when it when service time is going on, you want to be as invisible as possible. You don't want people looking back at the media booth or looking over to see what's going on because there's a loud noise or there's a uh, they're waiting on the slide to come up or they're waiting on the song to start. Uh, so you want to be as invisible as possible. So being comfortable with your technology, with your equipment, is a big part of that. And that's what this channel is all about: is making you comfortable uh, to be a better media volunteer, uh, a better media member for whatever organization you work with uh, and you serve with so that you can be effective in your role. All right. So that's my time. Once again, this is Gary B. Jr. I look forward to catching up with you next time.